Hi guys, my name is Danielle. I live in Texas in the United States. And this is a beginner level class. Um, in this class, we will work on the present continuous and talk about pictures. So let me say hello to Jose Luis. Hello. Jose Luis? Hey, hi teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, Jose Luis, uh, when you clicked on this class, does it have the description of the class? Uh, I, do you ask me if I can see the description? Yeah. Yes, is uh, the description is what are they doing? Perfect. Well, yes. Okay. Great. On well, my uh, screen, what? I, I checked the, the, the page, and uh, this changed maybe two hours ago, teacher. Yes, perfect. That's fine. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yes. That's, when I, that's when I uploaded it. OK, because on my screen, it wasn't showing that it made the change. OK. OK, so thank you. All right, what have you been up to, Jose Luis? Anything? I am, I am working, teacher, since 7 AM. And I am here in the warehouse, working jet, uh, because it's raining. Cats You're and dogs. Still working. Yes, I am in my work. And you've been working since when? Sorry, teacher. You've been working since when? What time? Seven. Seven a.m. Seven a.m. I am yes. Okay. And this moment are eight p.m. Yeah, that's a long time. We have a product for Walmart and. Uh, it's very important delivery this product today. So, okay. Did you get a break for lunch? Yes, it's yes, one hour only. But was for me was like ten hours. <laughs> when when do you get to leave? It's close for for my house, uh, my work. But in this moment, it's raining. Cats and dogs is the expression, right, teacher? Mm -hmm. And uh, the traffic is terrible, so I prefer take two hours in English in order to. Okay, I understand. So you're taking two hours of class to pass yes. the time. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, perfect, Jose Luis. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, let me say hello to Alejandro. Hello, how are Hi. you? Hi. Fine, and you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Um, all right, let's Let's say hello to Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm good. It's good to see you again. All right, and Oscar. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. All right, guys. So we are going to begin class. This class, uh, we are going to describe pictures using the present progressive. Um, so let's start with... Mm, <laughs> my computer is slow. <laughs> I think it... I don't know. Okay, yeah, we can start with this one. This one will be good. All right. Mm, there's the link. And I will share it with you guys. OK. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So, uh, picture number one. Uh, let's have Jose Luis. Can you describe what she is doing in picture number one? Uh oh. Hello, class. Class, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. 
Okay, maybe Jose Luis is gone. All right, um, so Alejandro, can you describe picture number one? Mm, she's uh, playing the violin. Yep, perfect. She's playing the violin. Great. Okay, and uh, what is she wearing? She she's wearing a a, a dress. Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You can't tell. Violet dre dress. Mm -hmm. Or a purple dress. Good. Perfect. Great job. All right, let me say hello to David. Hello, David. Hello, teacher. Nice to see you again. Welcome to class. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Paolo, can you describe picture number two? Yes. She's uh, protect, protect, protecting herself by the rain with uh, an um, umbrella. Good. Okay. Uh, she is protecting herself from the rain with an umbrella. She's protecting herself from something. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, Oscar, picture number three. She is in a, I don't know, what do you say? What do you say? Um, she's in a store? No. Or she's visiting the eye doctor, maybe? I don't know what this is, number of this profession. And this is a doctor, is a, what do you say? Sales clerk? Yes, uh, approach your lenses. Bro when you break your lenses, you go to like a store or like a yeah, I think you just go to a store. Yes, or, or buy your your or buy your your lenses. Yes, you can say that. Yes. Like this? Is that what hold on, she's buying her lenses? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can say that. She's buying her lenses. Yes, exactly. She's picking them out. She's at a store, and she's going to purchase them. You can also say she is trying on different uh, pairs of glasses. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, perfect. Oscar, thank you. Yes. All right, Jose Luis, are you back? Yes, teacher. Sorry, I'm here. No problem. Okay, what is this person doing in this picture? Uh, it's a boy mm -hmm. riding, riding okay. his bicycle, and uh, he, he's wearing a green T-shirt and shorts. Good. And uh, maybe he's learning how to drive, how to. Because she looked scared, right, teacher? <laughs> yeah. Maybe he is learning how to ride his bike because he looks scared. Maybe it's he looks scared, he looks afraid. Yes, maybe it's first time for him, right? For him. Yeah. Maybe it's oops. Maybe it's his first time. Good. Um. Good. All right. Oh, what is what's on his head? Hands. On his head. Head. I, I don't remember the name of this. A 
helmet. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. It's protection, right? Helmet. Oh, helmet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's wearing a helmet. Good. Mm -hmm. Great job. All right. Uh, David. The next picture. Okay. This boy is listening to music. He's wearing a red shirt, a red t shirt. Mm -hmm. mm, probably he's wearing jeans. Okay. And the walkman is hanging in his. I forgot the name. Uh, on his belt. Belt, yes, on his belt. Uh, yeah, you could say hanging, or you can also say uh, it's hanging on his belt. Yeah, that's fine. You can also say it's attached to his belt. Mm -hmm. And what can I say? The position that he's uh, he is crossing his arms. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, he is crossing his arms. Um, good. Okay. Uh, you can say he's crossing his arms. He's he. Uh, you can also say he has his arms folded, or he is folding his arms. Um, okay. You can also say he is leaning against the wall. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh. And what are the things on his ears? Headphones. Yeah. Headphones. Great. Good job. OK. <laughs> um, OK, good. Great description of that picture. All right, Alejandro, the next picture. Mm, he's studying. Mm -hmm. A lot. <laughs> yeah, he's studying very hard. He's studying a lot. Uh, good. Um, what else can you tell me about the picture? Mm, he is wearing a blue t-shirt. Mm -hmm. mm. mm, what is? I don't know. Uh, there are a lot of books. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of books. Good. OK. Can you read this sentence for me? Sorry? Can you read the sentence in group chat for me? He's cramming for a test. Good. Sorry, well, what is cram? Cramming? OK. Cramming is when you are studying really hard the night before the test. It means you are studying very, very last minute. You are trying to learn all the information very, very close to the test. OK. OK. Thank you. Have you ever crammed for a test? Oh, yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a bad idea, but Sometimes it's is necessary. Yes, yes, yeah. I've crammed for a few tests before too. Have you ever, have you ever pulled an all-nighter? Have you ever pulled an all-nighter? Uh, I don't know what's the meaning. Pulled an all-nighter means uh when you stay up. The whole night. Ah, uh, yes. To study. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. You have? I have never done that. <laughs> I have never had to do that. And I'm no? very glad. Uh, I've stayed up very late. I've stayed up till like three or four to study. Uh, but I've never stayed up the whole night. I would not I would not be able to take the test the next day. My brain would be wanting to sleep. <laughs> it 
it would be gone. <laughs> See, yeah. sometimes it's worth because uh, I I I think that the next day you mm -hmm. can forget the information. Oh, so if you fall asleep, then you forget it? No, if if you if you pull an all the nighter. Oh, if you pull an all nighter. Yeah. Yes. So wait, sometimes it's Be, because not because the the mind need to rest. Uh huh. Because the mind needs to rest. Okay, so sometimes it's not worth it, right? Yes. Okay, I understand now. Okay, good. Okay, David, do you think an all-nighter is worth it? Mm, yes, sometimes. <laughs> but just the word nighter, what it means? It's <clears throat> all nighter is slang. It's not. It's not grammatically correct in English, uh, so it has no other meaning. It, um, it, mm -hmm. Yeah, it, you can't use it in any mm -hmm. other phrase. It's. It doesn't make sense. I can yeah. say. The night there yesterday was good. No, no. Okay. No. No. Only all nighter. It's always an all nighter. It's very, very slang, very um it's not correct English at all. Uh you you will you will see it written It is it is slang, but what did it mean all nighter? Oh, okay, the term all nighter. It means yes. um it means you stay up, you stay awake all night. You stay you. awake all night. So you do not sleep um, at all. No sleeping for that one I just, night. I just use it with the verb pull. Uh-huh. Yeah, you pull an all-nighter. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, you pull an all-nighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good questions. Okay. Class, do we understand this phrase? Yes. Yes? Okay. We've got two people. What about this section? Yes, I understand. Okay. Oscar? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. And do we understand cram for a test? Cram is, is a slang too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Can I use it for other thing? Mm. If you can, uh, I can't think of one at this moment. So I don't. I don't think so. You cram. Well, okay, no, you can also, cram means to fit something into a short time, hold on, into a short time or a small area, okay? So it means to fit a bunch of things in to a short amount of time or to a very small area. So, for example, you can okay. say uh, he crammed his papers into his backpack. So it means his backpack was really full, but he crammed them in. He fit them in. Okay. Okay. Cram the papers into his backpack. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good question. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, we can continue then. Okay, um, let's see, Paolo. Uh, okay, this one. 
What is she doing? She is taking a bath. Good. Looks like a bubble bath. <laughs> so a, a bubble. Uh huh. C could I say form? Uh, no. You can say uh the bath is uh. Mm, you can maybe say the bath is filled with foam. Sounds okay. Um. But bubble bath is specifically when there's lots of foam, there's lots of bubbles uh, in the bath. But it, it's called a bubble bath, okay? It's not called a foam bath, okay? Okay. Um, there's, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's, yeah, it's called a bubble bath. I used to let, I... I love bubble baths. <laughs> I still love bubble baths. I liked them when I was little, and I love them now. They're very relaxing. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay, what about the next picture? Uh, Oscar. Teacher. Yes. Yes, she is cleaning the mirror. Good. Why do you think she is cleaning the mirror? She's cleaning the mirror for uh, for for see more clean. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, let me figure out how to word that. Uh, Uh, are you talking about the mirror? She wants to see the mirror? Uh, yeah. Or she wants to see herself in the mirror? This is uh, for, for see more clear. To see like the reflection or to see the mirror? To see the mirror. Okay, yeah, so that she can see it more clearly. Is what I would say. Ah, yes. yes, yes. Perfect, Oscar. All right, Jose Luis, the next picture. <clears throat> uh, is, uh, the woman in the car picture? Yes. Is is talking with someone with his telephone? I hate this situation, teacher, because I don't like the people that drive. Will uh, talk in the while phone. talking. Yeah. I yes, I have a serious problems with this person. I hate a lot. <laughs> okay. Yes. And uh, I don't know. Maybe is is all that I can see. She's this is wearing. Uh, is all that I can see. Oh, okay. She's wearing mm -hmm. a. Uh, I don't know, maybe a dress, red, red dress. Okay, maybe. And uh, I think that his cell phone is very old because he's B, and this time, is mm -hmm. how, 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 how do you say the the line that is in the cell phone teacher? I don't know how to say. Antenna. It's, yes, antenna. How do you say antenna? antenna. Is this the same word? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm saying yes. <laughs> oh, good. Um, that was easy. Yes, it was easy. <laughs> and now the the cell phones don't have antennas, right? Good. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um. Okay. What about um? Okay. What is this blue thing called? It's, I don't know how the, is the Nemisa glass in front of the car, right? Uh, yes. Exactly. <clears throat> But I don't know how, how is the name, the correct name. Okay. The name is Windshield. Windshield. Like, like shield, okay. Windshield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it shields you. It protects you from, from like, bugs and, and rocks and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what about... 
Uh, no, a wind for, <laughs> windbreaker is an outfit. It's like clothes. Here, I'll show you a picture. Follow. Um, windbreaker is like a. It, it stops. It, it keeps you warm when it's really windy outside. Okay. So like here's a here's a windbreaker. It protects you from the wind. It's a type of clothes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Jose Luis, what other parts of the car do you see? I don't remember the name uh, that had the... It's a wild teacher or something like that? The mm -hmm. wild, right? It, it's this, I think you're saying steering wheel. Steering oh. wheel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the, the thing that helps you turn? Sorry? The thing that allows you to turn? Yes. Okay, and one last thing, Jose Luis. Uh, what's the thing that allows you to see the back of the car? <laughs> it's a mirror, right, teacher? <laughs> I don't know the, the specific name, sorry, I have problems with the parts of a car because I don't know a lot. It's okay. It's a rear view mirror. Rear view mirror, okay. The woman don't use a lot of this. <laughs> hey, way to stereotype all women. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, in Mexico, at least, at least don't, uh -huh. don't use the rear view mirror. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I personally, <laughs> sometimes I am not very good at driving. I try, but. Yeah. What kind of car do you have? A truck or a small it's, car? It's small. It's small. Yes. In Mexico, it's common that the women uh, uh -huh. buy a trucks, a very big trucks. I don't understand why because. Mostly don't know how to drive. Man. They buy <laughs> big cars, teacher. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of guys and girls who buy trucks in Texas, mm -hmm. specifically in Texas. Uh, but that makes a little more sense in Texas because you're you're out on the farm or you're out on the ranch. Yes. Or like even to move, when yes. you're moving, it helps. So, uh, anyway, okay. Well, we can continue. Thank you, Jose Luis. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, Alejandro, the next picture. Uh, go to the, the picture of the shelves. Sorry, what, what picture, teacher? The picture with the shelves. Shelves. Oops. The green, the green. Uh, okay. Uh, he he's uh, he's buying uh, groceries. Then? Maybe uh, his wife uh, needs to needs groceries for the dinner. You can say his wife needs groceries for dinner. For dinner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, good. Um, okay. Something to know about a grocery store. Uh, do you know when you... Uh, okay. So the parts that you walk down with the shelves on both sides, that is usually called an aisle. Aisle? Mm hmm Do you know this word, aisle? No. Okay, so 
for example, in an airplane, there are seats on both sides, right? In an airplane, the aisle is the long place that you walk down the middle. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So it's for some reason it is the same in a grocery store. So you walk between the shelves. Okay. Um, a quarter. Uh, quarter is a uh, corridor. It is not a corridor in a grocery store. I don't really know how to describe corridor. <laughs> it's a very. Uh, I I can can I, you are talking about uh, the the shelves. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Uh, I it, thought. Uh, Wait, go ahead, Paul. I thought the the island uh, was the where the people walk and buy. It is. It is okay. So a corridor. It's more like a. I think it's like a hallway in a house. Kind of, or like. Uh, Corridor is more like I don't know. I don't know. It's it's um I think I remember hearing it from Harry Potter movies. It I, I don't know. It's like a it's a Between. fancy word for a hallway. I don't know. Um <laughs> sorry. But you don't it, you don't use the word corridor for grocery stores. Um so the aisle the aisle is like for example in a grocery store, it'll have aisle one through twenty, okay? And so you ask a sales clerk, "Where is the peanut butter?" He says aisle three, okay? Oh, okay. So it's one of it's one of the walkways with the shelves, the shelves of food. Okay, I understand. Okay. Uh, Jose Luis. Oh, okay. Where are you gone? Okay. All right. So Jose Luis is back. Um. Okay. Do we understand aisle? Kind of, sort of. Okay. Me? It, yeah, the class. Do you, Do y'all understand? I I understand. I understand. Perfect. Anyone else? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, we will continue then. Um, okay, who was next? I forgot. Who? Okay, so Alejandro did that. All right, uh, David, can you explain? Um, I guess this one. Yeah, I'll share my screen again. The first one right here. What is the man doing? Well, the man is cooking. Mm -hmm. He's he has a strange black red hair. <laughs> Good. He's wearing a yellow shirt. He's what? wearing a pink I don't know the name. <laughs> Apron. 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 Good. A apron, okay. Uh -huh. A pink apron. Good. He's holding. Good. Uh. Uh. Wood spoon. Mhm. Mm uh, a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. Uh huh. Yes. Good. Then the pan. Mhm. Mm is hot because there is smoke. Mm, going up. Uh, you can say rising. Rising. The okay. smoke is rising from the pot. Okay. Pot. Okay. Yeah, it's a pot. Um, a pan. Uh, looks like this. Hold on. Um. 
It has, it has, oh gosh. <laughs> I think it thinks I'm speaking Spanish. Okay, um, all right, here. Here's a picture. Uh, a pan has like one handle, and it's flat. Okay, kind of. Okay. 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 Good. Anything else about this picture? I don't think so. Okay. Good job, David. Thanks. All right. Uh, all right. Jose Luis. Yes, teacher. This last picture in the right corner. Okay. It's a woman with his husband watching TV. With her husband. Her husband, yes, sorry, teacher. Okay. She, she's drinking a soda and, no, he's, uh, he's drinking a soda and he's sitting in a chair arm. Is chair arm right, teacher? Uh, an armchair. Armchair, sorry. Okay. And uh, I think that the woman is stand up or stand? Oh. The woman is standing up. Uh, standing up. And uh, she's watching a TV show about a dog. And uh, <laughs> I think that is all right, each other. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right, uh, good, guys. Um, all right, any questions so far, class? Maybe? No. No? No? Okay. All right. Um, then here is the next link. Where is it? That's not it. Ah, here it is. Okay, great. All right, this is about daily routines. All right, so uh, Oscar, you will go first, and I will share my screen. Oh. Maybe. Ah. Okay. Uh oh. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right, go ahead, Oscar. What is happening in picture number one? Oscar, you have to unmute yourself. Yes. But you say uh, what happened in picture number one? Yes. Ah, oh, she is uh, playing the, how do you say, violin? Is what? No, 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 not that, not that. A different worksheet. A different worksheet? I, I, I don't know. But do you I'm see on. my screen? Yes, my pearl, yeah. One moment, please. Okay. She is asleep in a, I don't know, you say, in a curtain in your house. In her bedroom? In her, in her restaurant. Bedroom, bedroom. Bedroom. Uh, okay, she is asleep in her bedroom. Uh, but um, when you say she is asleep, it means she her eyes are closed. She is sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. Right, but she's not sleeping. She's this is, is, is a rest. He's a resting in in her bedroom. Okay. Well, maybe. Okay. She is resting on her bed in her oops, bedroom. 
Okay, good. But what do you do in the mornings? Uh, I don't know what you say. This is... Uh... When you rub your eyes and you... I don't know. This is... <laughs> it's strange. Okay. Okay. She is stretching. She's stretching. Go ahead. In the morning, in her in his bedroom. In her bedroom. Good. Um. Okay. You can say she is waking up. Oh yes, waking up. Good. She's waking up. Um. And, oh, what is this called? What is like that. What is that? I don't know. This is pro probably is, uh, a strange. <laughs> no, this sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what this is that? Sound, yeah. One, one moment. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this. Uh, this word? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish, it's bostezo. <laughs> oh, not in English. She is yawning. I don't know, yawning. Yawning. Oh, yeah, yawning. <laughs> hey. I think that was a really good fake yawn that I did like three times. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. impressed <laughs> with <Yes>. myself. <laughs> yes. All right, yes, it's called yawning. Okay. Uh, Oscar, are you a morning person? I don't know. Do you, do you say you are, are you a morning? Are you a morning person? I don't understand. I, I don't know. Okay. It's okay. It means, do you like the mornings? Are you happy? Do you like to talk? Do you I like mornings? In the, I, I happy in, in, in all morning. Oh, nice. I'm happy all morning. Yes. You are a morning person. In, in person? No, no, no. You, you are. You uh, yes. are a morning person. It means you like morning. Yes, I like morning. I, I don't know. I, is, I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Morning person. Morning person? Yes. Equals? Liking mornings. I like morning. So, okay, a morning person equals people who like the morning. Now, people who like the morning, yes. So you, you are a morning person. Yes, I like I, I like morning person. You, okay, you say, I am a morning person, or yes. I like mornings. Yes, I, I like, like morning. morning times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. That's awesome. I'm, I'm a morning person sometimes. It depends. Sometimes, yes. <laughs> In a Sunday. Yes. <laughs> when yes. it's like 11 o'clock. In the morning. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, yes. Tell me. Morning person can mean a person who, who doesn't go to much club is just... No, well, no. Uh, a morning person means when you wake up, you are happy, you are smiling, you are your normal self. You like mornings. So some people 
are not morning people. It means they're mm -hmm. very quiet. They're, they have a frown on their face. They do not like mornings. They do not want to wake up. They, they throw their alarm across the room. They do not like morning. Okay. Yeah, so not a morning person equals don't like alarm, alarm clock. <laughs> Okay. okay, and if you're a morning person, you smile and you're happy and you're talkative, and it's eight o'clock, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, doesn't matter. You love morning. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, Paolo, number two. He's wearing up uh, a social shirt. And I and a, a tie. Uh, wait. Um. Wait, wait, wait. He okay. So he is. He is buttoning up his um. Oh, what are those called? Oh, it has a name. I don't remember. His his cuff? His cuffs? Hold on. C cuff. 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 I, I yeah, already okay. had he is, He's buttoning his cuffs. Cuffs. Cuffs are the part at the bottom of the sleeves. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, and you can say he is also wearing a tie, right? Okay. Is that what you said? Uh, I had said I had said that he is wearing a social shirt. What's a social shirt? Well, the two with bo uh, buttons, buttons. Wait, a social shirt? Yes. I don't know that. Wait, can you type it? I think there is not this word in English. Oh, it's okay. It's a yeah. shirt. Okay, okay. No, it's not in a... Portuguese, uh, you use the adjectives social in front of the word like, shirt. Okay, so... Is a social shirt like when you go to business meetings or to go to parties or when you get dressed up? Yes, formal, formal, formal meeting. Okay, you know. so you can say a nice shirt, a nice shirt or a nice uh, dress shirt. Fine shirts. Okay. So, could I say fine shirt? He's no, 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 shirt. no, not not fine. Uh, oh, the kind of shirt that Jose Luis is wearing in the picture is a is a social shirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's a. Mm, you could say he's wearing a nice shirt, or he's wearing mm, he's wearing a dress shirt, uh, or you can say just simply what it is: a button-down shirt. I don't remember the the word. Ah, uh, slim, slim shirt, I think. A slim sleek. clothes. Sleek. No, no, slim. Slim shirt is a kind of so shirt. So so social yeah. shirt. I think it doesn't exist. I don't know a slim shirt. No, not shirt, but clothes. I don't know slim. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a word. Oh, no, I, I, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I made a mistake. Uh, okay, no problem. It's okay. I just didn't recognize the word. Uh, okay. 
No problem, Paolo. Um, do you like dressing up, Paolo? Do you like wearing nice dress shirts? Well, I, I do not have, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that's very uh, beautiful. Uh huh. I think they're uh, beautiful, or they're uh, they're fancy, or they're they're sleek. Yeah, sometimes very sophisticated, very fancy. Yeah, sometimes I I I want to to wear uh, a fine fine clothes. Mm -hmm. Fancy clothes. Yeah, fancy clothes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it is fun to dress up. Sometimes. Um, okay, one correction. I don't have any. I don't have any. Okay. 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 Include any at the end. Okay. Um, yeah. But good. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, we can continue. Uh, Alejandro, the next picture. This one. Um, they're uh, having breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, she she's making uh, coffee. Before to work or or to a school. Huh? Okay. Good. Um. Okay. Good. Uh. Let's see, David. Go ahead and describe the next picture. Five. Uh, number four, sorry. Number four? Yeah. Well, there's a draw of a man. <laughs> okay. It's a drawing. It's a drawing of a man. Of a man? Mm hmm. Using a suit. Uh, with. Okay. With holding a suitcase. Good. So he is wearing. He is He's wearing, wearing a suit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And holding a suitcase. Good. And what is the name of those? Is balloon? A thought bubble. Thought bubble, yes. Mm -hmm. With a beautiful house in into the thought thought bubble. Mm -hmm. The house have a long. A what? Long. Oh mm -hmm. yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, the house has a lawn. Has a lawn. Good. Good. Yes. Perfect. Great job, David. All right, uh, Jose Luis, number so five. Teacher. Yes. What What's the name uh, the person who sells uh, houses or? A realtor. Realtor. Uh huh. Okay. Good question. All right, Jose Luis, number five. Oops. Sorry, I spelled that wrong, guys. This is the spelling, realtor. Okay. Okay. All right, Jose Luis. Are you there? I don't think so. Okay, Oscar, number five. Oscar? 
Alright. Paolo, <laughs> number six. I mean, number five. Number five. Uh, there are three men and one woman. Uh huh. I think it's a, a meeting. Oh. Uh, three men and one woman. It's a meeting. Good. And what do you think they are meeting to discuss? What they they are talking about? Yeah. What are they talking about? <laughs> uh, maybe it's, uh, I think is uh, something like uh, architecture. Okay. Good. Architecture. I I can see rules on the rule rulers on the table. Good. All right, works for me. All right, let's see if Jose Luis, are you back? No, Oscar. No. All right. Well. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, perfect. All right, then thank you, Paolo, for your description. We will continue with Oscar. Oscar, number six. Number six. Mm -hmm. Two women take a dinner in a restaurant. Two women are having. Are dinner. having yes. Mm -hmm. Are having dinner in a restaurant. Good. Uh, restaurant. Okay. Two uh -huh. elegant women. It's possible. Yeah. Too elegant. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Great. And what do you think they are talking about? Um, I don't know this. Huh? <laughs> it is a. Uh, uh, I don't know. They have. I don't know what you say. Cartera. The box. A letter? I don't know. Wallet. A wallet. Thank you. Wallet. Yes. <laughs> oh, carta is letter. Okay. Um, yeah. Wallet. Yes. Th they're talking about their wallets? Yes. I, one, one woman put the wallets in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a chair. But, okay, uh, it's a purse. <laughs> Or hanging. <laughs> it's a purse. Purse. Like uh here. Wait. Uh okay. This this is a purse. Okay. Purse? Uh, I don't know what is purse. It's it's this. It's this. This object. Okay? Yeah. Card data is purse. Yes. Oh, yeah. it's a purse. Yes. I thought it was bolsa or bolso or something. Um, okay. Um, oops. This is a wallet. Uh, oops, sorry. This part. This is the wallet. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Oh. Wait, Oscar, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Oh. Paulo, are you speaking Spanish or Portuguese? No, Portuguese, no, Spanish. I, yeah, I, I, I wrote the Portuguese uh, words, but I think that uh, are the same in Spanish. Yeah, I... I I think so. Are they the same? Uh, Oscar? Mm, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for the confusion. This little one is a wallet. The big strappy thing, that's the purse. Okay. Um, any questions, class? No. Okay. Not teacher. All right. <laughs> okay, well, good. Then I will see y'all later, and I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Bye, guys. Thank you.
Thank Very you. Nice. Bye. Bye.